Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is focusing on the Apophia's Veil and how its newly reworked abilities might make it meta this season. The instant action exotic now allows players to not only get their abilities back, but also will have infinite mobility regen after super use for 8 seconds. So to make this both worthwhile and amazing for future content, I've gone with Strand to fully maximize this pressure. With this, you can get back very fast ability regen outside of the exotic use, fast super buildup, amazing DPS potential, and little mod requirements for this. So let's crack on with it. To start, you're going to want to have Weaver's Call where casting a Rift will produce a free Threadlings and deploy any Threadlings on you. You'll then want the Wanderer where Tangles from the targets will stick and suspend them. These aspects will ultimately allow players to spam Threadlings in a large mass to overwhelm areas in one go, while also giving free room to suspend targets when available to do so. Now for the Fragments, Thread of Evolution which allows Threadlings to travel further and deal additional damage. Thread of Rebuff allows strand weapons a chance to create threadlings on kills. Thread of Generation, where dealing damage generates grenade energy. And Thread of Binding, where super kills cause targets nearby to be suspended. The Thread of Evolution and Generation are two fragments that are going to play a big part within how the build can function for longer. Enhanced threadlings will deal more damage to targets, which is very much needed. Thread of Generation, of course, will allow us to use Threading Grenades more often without the need of mods or perks all the time. Then Thread of Rebirth will allow me to create even more Threadlings at my disposal, while Thread of Binding will suspend targets for me after super use, which is going to be super handy. But this may be 50-50 for some players who see the slot can be better used. Overall, the build focuses on the Threadlings down to a T, which is needed for making this super fast approach even more faster. For mods and stats, you're going to need to focus on recovery and discipline. However, as the Apotheos Realm will be granting us ability energy back upon super use, we are also using the Traveler's Chosen as our main, so that we do have a bit of freedom available for those who can't match with what I have shown. Recovery at tier 10 will be needed to make Weaver's Call more common and available as possible. At this level, you'll be getting a 48 second rift cooldown, which will most likely be a lot less once Absolution and Distribution are both active. I do also have the Dynamo mod for getting back fast super energy back via Rifts, which match well when combined with my Ashes to Assets mod. Both of these will be covering the two important stats the build will be needed to survive and also proc Apotheos much more often. Discipline is at tier 10, which will be giving us a 1 minute 16 second cooldown upon using Threadling Grenades. Although high, this can be easily reduced via Grenade Kickstart for that 31% Grenade Ability regen. At the same time, Thread of Generation and Traveler's Chosen will also support the stat to the point of where, no matter how high the stat is, the following will become less of an issue for the endgame user. One important thing to note though, we will be using our melee as well, even though it's tier 4, so I do recommend you add the Momentum Transfer mod just to help out this little bit of energy it will be getting. Now for this section here, we'll be covering additional mods and armor charges being used in the build. Charged up is going to be giving you a plus one to charge stacks we hold. Next, you're going to want to have the element of charge, powerful attraction, and a reaper mod so you can produce orbs of power on kills, tangles, or using your class ability. This will all lead back into our heavy ammo mod usage since surge mods won't be needed here but that is optional. Having Heavy Ammo Finder, Reserve and Scavenger is a must with the heavy weapon we are be using and selecting. Now for weapons, we have Traveler's Chosen Sidearm which is to match with the style of the build. As the build is focusing heavily on ability regen, I thought having some light travelers would best fit the build in its entirety. With this added on, it will allow me to spam my abilities at a much more higher rate before my main exotic armor is able to activate which is both ideal and fun. It also pairs well with dealing with anti-barrier champs this season, so the build does become even more opened up to be used in endgame if you like. However, if you wish to, you can use strand-based weapons if you want to save your exotic weapon for another slot in mind. Which one you pick is ultimately down to you. For heavy, we have the Semitician with a fill prep and explosive light. This powerhouse of a weapon is similar to how Apex Predator is in terms of its perk loadout. Although both weapons have different frames, 
My version focuses on speed, damage, and having a large reserve, so I can use this to take out a multitude of tough enemies at once. However, as the build is set up for dumping your load all at once, I would recommend a auto-loading rocket launcher, or use the Dragon's Breath Exotic to enhance your damage even more, especially with the Dragon's Breath Exotic. Now, Apophius Vel update has got to be one of the most simplest and yet effective updates that can revive an exotic back from the brink of absolute death. It still keeps its main exotic perk for you and your allies, but the increased 8000% ability you regen and 8 second duration you get afterwards is what will make this exotic pretty useful in a number of content in terms of dealing big DPS damage. As a starter, I focus my version of the exotic onto my strand loadout, since strand offers a fast ability regen thanks to its fragments and has a short super you can use. This in hand when combined with Apophius Veil will allow players to spam threadlings and unravel rounds onto targets non-stop, while easily getting said energy back. Threadlings are the go-to because of how good they are with tracking and defeating targets for you, and then applying Traveler's Chosen to the mix means that we can fully use our abilities up freely even when we haven't used Apophius Veil effect as of yet. In layman's term, we can fully use all of our abilities up at once, use Travelers to refill our stock, repeat step 1, use our super and 8 second ability regen buff, and then repeat from step 1 all over again. It sounds crazy on paper that this exotic would be anything but good, but this update has allowed the exotic to really lean into its effects all the way, while also benefiting those who use their super at a moment's notice. The crazy thing about this build though is that it isn't as new as you may think. This build was viable way back when Strand was first introduced because of how fast you can get your super via Warlocks. However, the only reason you would never see this out in the open is because of how bad the exotic was back then. Now though, this exotic will be useful in a lot of content to where you and your allies may want to just outright nuke a boss from orbit. In fact, I can see this build being specifically useful when being paired with Terra Hunter and maybe Strand Titan or Void Titan because of the synergy they can both provide. Lastly, do make sure you have the Ashes to Assets and Dynamo mods on your build like shown, as these are your two main abilities will be fully exhausted through and through. So what do you think of the new exotic buff? Does it take a fancy? Why not give this build a try and test it with the rest to see how you feel overall? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content share then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, I have more stuff like this than I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.